Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to talk about the concept of knots which can be a useful knowledge especially pertaining to the area of curve and surface continuity works Okay, let's start Okay, now I'm at the official Rhino website and on the page that is talking about NURBS and let's head over to the section where it talks about knots Okay, over here it states that the knots a list of degree plus n minus 1 numbers where n is the number of control points so let me elaborate on this point here by going to Rhino itself to illustrate it okay so let me start by creating a degree tree curve with six control points one two three four five six okay I have six control points on this curve and let me paste that information that was covered on the page over here okay basically it's talking about this where it states that the number of knots should correspond to the degree plus number of control points minus one so using this curve as our uh, illustration object let's input the necessary information the degree in this case here is 3 the number of control points is 6 and so 3 plus 6 minus 1 will get 8 okay so we should get 8 knots on this curve and how do we find the location of the knots we can do so by going to the object snap and enable the not object snap and I'm going to find the, the location of the knots by clicking on the point and using the object snap to find their locations so this is the first location okay there's another one here another one here and another one here okay let's head back to the website and there's another piece of information that I need to cover and I'll use um, this line as an example okay so uh, uh, a degree tree curve with 11 points have a list of this number so I'm going to use this to illustrate that um, basically the ends of the curve they were have um, what you call full multiplicity knots that means the number of knots on the ends of the curve will be equal to that of uh, the, the degree that means they will have um, three knots on a degree three curve on one corner and also three knots on the other end okay so knowing this information, let's uh, head back to Rhino again. So we know at this end here, which is a full multiplicity knot, we will have three knots. Okay, so we have uh, one, two, three, and this is a simple knot, so there'll be one. So it's one, two, three, four. This is a simple knot. Okay, five. So here is a uh, three. So uh, six, seven, eight. So all together we will have uh, eight knots okay corresponding to what is um is stated over here okay so that's how we understand knots okay now mm, knots can be more or less associated with the continuity or discontinuity of a curve okay and if we were to put multiple knots onto the same location what we can get is a discontinuity and I want to illustrate example by using this command here the insert king which adds uh, multiple knots on the same location so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the insert king and place it maybe here okay and let's turn on the point command to add at a point at, at the node so you can see that because I'm object snap the knot 
is activated now you notice that there is a knot at this or rather that this is a position where there are knots okay and if i were to move this point you notice that what i get is a discontinuity because over here we have uh, multiple knots okay so how do i remove multiple knots in a location on a curve okay to do that we can use the command remove multi knots which i'm going to demonstrate now remove multi knots okay press enter and if i were to select uh, this curve press enter you'll notice that this uh, multiple knot location has been removed okay we should have the knot uh, location around there as well however this will be a simple knot instead of a multi knot over here okay okay another piece of information about knots that i want to talk about um, is that of um, insertion of knots okay let me create a curve again and let's turn on the control points okay over here let's say if i want to add more con control points without changing the profile of the curve i can do so by using this command insert knot okay so insert what insert knot does is that it add additional knots onto the curve without changing the the form okay let me do a demonstration by the way this is found under point edit insert knot so let's say if i want to add a control point somewhere around here i can click here okay and i added a knot somewhere around this location and you notice that the arrangement of the control existing control point has been modified to add a new control point around here okay so you can see yep this is the place where the knot insertion has occurred okay so from here we can see that if you want to add more control points to a curve without changing the shape of it we can do so by using the insert knot instead of something like the insert control point okay if you use something like insert control point uh, what will happen is that the control point will be added at that lo location however the curve would have its shape change okay let, let me uh, draw a curve here to illustrate the point okay so now i have a curve here and if instead of using the insert knot i use something like insert control point i want to insert control point around here and you see that the form of the curve has been changed which in many cases is not really ideal okay especially where the where the situation requires one to add additional control points without changing the shape of the curve okay with that i come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you bye